the good news today. God offers you the free gift of salvation. This morning you are reading about how God sent His Son Jesus Christ in the flesh. Jesus Christ came to die on the cross of Calvary so that we can be accepted by God. God offers us His free gift of salvation. My dear friends, we can never meet God's standards. You can go to church all through your life and never meet His standard. But we can meet the standards because of Jesus Christ. If only you will put your faith and trust in the Lord Jesus Christ, you can meet the standards of God. That is what God wants you to do. He has already paid for our sin on the cross of Calvary by sending Jesus Christ. And all we need to do is accept that. I want to ask you a very important question today. This is probably the most important decision that you will ever make in your life. The Bible says in John 3.16 God loved the people of this world so much that He gave His only Son so that everyone who has faith in Him will have eternal life and never really die. Would you like to have that eternal life? If you want to have eternal life, I want you to show me your hands. How many of you want eternal life? How many want to be with God forever? If you want eternal life, today you can make that choice to have eternal life. All you need to do is to say, God, I'm sorry. I'm so sorry for what mistakes I have made in my life. I'm so sorry for the sins that I have done. I know God, I can never come to your level of requirement. I can never meet your standards. But I'm willing to accept the free gift of the Lord Jesus Christ. I want to open my heart and ask Jesus to come and live in my heart so that I can have eternal life and never really die. When I finish this morning, we are going to give you this opportunity to ask this wonderful Savior, the Lord Jesus Christ, who raised me from the dead. I was dead, but God raised me from the dead. But let me tell you, I will die again. But when I wake up, I will wake up in eternity. I will wake up with my Savior in heaven. Do you want to be there? My dear friends, I want you to be there. I humbly ask you this morning. I plead with you. I want to see your beautiful faces in heaven with me. Dr. Chalaya wants that. All of us want that. That's why we are here. We are here because we want to see you with us in heaven. Today you can have that same power that worked in my life in your life too. You can be a powerful person for God. I'm not sure how many of you have given your life to Jesus Christ. But today we're going to ask you, will you make that most important decision today? Will you ask the Lord Jesus Christ to come into your heart? Perhaps there are some of you who have been coming to church every week for many years. But you do not have that personal relationship with Jesus Christ. Will you give your life to Him this morning? So I'm going to ask Elder John to come up and Dr. Chala to please come up. And we're going to give you an opportunity. For those of you who would like to give your life to Christ this morning, we would like you to come forward. Please come forward. Those who would like to give their life and respond this morning to this gospel message. You can have eternal life. We request you to please come forward. There may be those of you who have already accepted Christ into your hearts, but now you want to serve Him. You want to 
serve Him much more strongly. You may be having some problems in your life, perhaps in your family, perhaps at your work, perhaps you are burdened about something in your heart. Come forward and we will pray for you. The Lord is calling you. It is Jesus who calls, not me. I am only His servant. Dr. Chela is only His servant. All of us will come. We are the servants of the living God. We are inviting you this morning. If you would like to give your heart to Christ, don't be ashamed. Because God is not ashamed of you. The same God who could raise me from the dead is offering you eternal life today. Perhaps you have never thought about your life before. Do you want eternal life? God is offering this through the Lord Jesus Christ. As we play the music on the organ, open my eyes, Lord. I request you, please come forward. Those who would like to give their life to Christ for the first time. Those who would like to rededicate their life. If you would like prayers for your family, for your friends, please come forward. We will pray for you. Tiny Mr. Padim, a good long life long me. No trouble be fell a true. But Jesus he teach him so one and me wrong left on me step good now long Dr. Titus Park is a doctor in divinity, graduated from the Sydney Bible College 1950-51. One of the senior most elders of this village.
Patui radio ne muili a cross out bleeding hearts. We now got to kill. Yes, the old. People 